In this video, we're going to show you how to track a Facebook event on your Pixel. This is super important for measuring key metrics like sales, leads, add to carts, clicks to call, and more. Hey guys, Stuart here. Welcome to today's tutorial video where we're going to show you the fundamentals of setting up event tracking on your Facebook Pixel. Obviously, pasting your Pixel onto your website is a great start. But to measure and track the important events, you need to follow these steps, which I'm going to show you shortly. Just before we do, though, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, smash that like button down below. And with that said, let's get into it. To get started with tracking events on your Facebook Pixel, we just need to go to the Events Manager section. You can find that by clicking on the hamburger sign on the left hand side of the Business Manager and just navigate to events manager up at the top or down below underneath manage business this will then bring you to the pixels that you have available for the purpose of today's tutorial i'm going to assume you have already set up and pasted the pixel onto your website if you haven't done that i'd highly recommend you go and have a look at the video tu video tutorials in the description box below by my good friend stuart gold this has a range of videos on how to set up the Facebook Pixel on different website platforms. So coming back to today's tutorial. We just want to go to add events to start adding important events and tracking them on our Facebook Pixel. We want to select from the Pixel itself because this is where the information is going to be shared and fed and we've also got it set up on our website. So let's select Open Events Setup Tool. From here, you need to enter your website name where the Facebook Pixel has been installed. So let's go to my website where Stuart McAdam Marketing's Pixel has been installed and open it up. You can see here that this is going to open up a Facebook Event Setup Tool. Now for this tutorial, I'm going to show it to you as if it's brand new. So there's no events that have currently been set up on the page. You need to identify what the most important metrics for you are. If you are a business owner that's selling products online, this will be tracking information that is important such as add to cart, initiate checkouts. If you're like me, you want to be measuring leads, and contact information. So let's select the first option. Let's go get a quote. Obviously someone hasn't re requested a quote immediately here for getting a quote. So this is going to be something that is a little different. You can see the events that are available to you here. We want to select the best one in this instance. So let's select search. If you are an e-commerce business, you definitely want to choose the value on the page, which will be the dollar, pound, euro amount, wherever you are in the world. In this instance, I don't need that. So let's select don't include value and select confirm. You can now see that anytime someone clicks on get a quote, it will register as a search. And coming to the events manager and coming out of here, you'll see the event show up over here in the events. Coming back to the website, we will then want to go into the get a quote section and we want to track a new button. And there you can see the submit button gets highlighted. So anytime someone clicks on the submit button to get a quote, that event is then going to be triggered. So let's select submit and then let's select an event. So the most relevant one here would be lead, but let's say we want to measure something that's a bit more unique and scroll down and let's say submit application is the event we want to track here. Just select confirm once that's done. You can now see that if someone wants to get a quote that is going to be registered as search in the events manager here and if they submit an application that's going to register as well 
Now, I did go and set up some more events in other sections of the website, but for today's tutorial, I just wanted to make it as easy as possible for you to see what you need to do to set up your first events on the Pixel. So I'm not going to show the extra events that were set up, just going to keep it nice and simple. And let's skip to the end so you can finish the basic events set up. So once all of that has been done, we want to select Finish Setup. We want to make sure we've got all the events uh, tracking as we would like them to. So we can see search, find location, sed schedule, lead, initiate checkout. All of that looks great. So let's select finish. And was the events setup tool helpful? Absolutely it was. Now, once all of that's been done, you'll be redirected back to the events page here. And as time goes on, you'll start to see the events firing as people take action on your website. So that's a basic overview of how to set up events on your Pixel. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel and smash that like button for support. And we'll see you in the next tutorial video. Bye for now.